What the hell are you? We are Venom. Since we're doing introductions, uh, my name is uh, Fu Manchu. I'm a huge fan of Venom from Marvel Comics, Tom Hardy, and One Six Scale Figures. So I guess it's only natural that I review the following. Today's review will be on this very plain cardboard box. Now, I've yet to see a review of this figure, so I really didn't know what to expect about the box and stuff like that or the quality of the figure, uh, but I didn't expect a box quite this plain. I mean, all it's got is this little printing up here that says Toys Era PE 003, so it's a James Bond character that doubles as a physical education teacher. I, I, I don't know, but you know what? Hey, look, the box may be plain, but it's serving its purpose, so let's look inside, shall we? And the purpose that it was serving was to protect the real box. As you can see, it's all wrapped in plastic, so let's take this plastic off and get a better look at it. And with the plastic removed, we get a better view of the box, which is all black with a very cool illustration you can barely see of Venom and Eddie Brock. Now that is very cool, but like I said, that is very hard to see. You almost have to tilt it into the light. Now another thing that's hard to see is this V. As you can see there, it's very shiny. And that's very cool indeed. Now, I'm assuming they're a big fan of uh, Metal Gear Solid V, The Phantom Pain, because it's got the big V there. Or maybe V for Vendetta. I don't know. Maybe this is just Toys Era's fifth release. Who knows? Down here, we've got some silver, and that's very cool. It says the Parasitic 1-6 scale collectible figure. And up here at the top, we have... A little logo yet again for the PE. It says a premium edition. So now we know what PE stands for. Down the side of the box, we have a little bit of the Venom all splashed onto the box. And that is awesome. So let's flip this box over and look at the back, shall we? Because the back of the box has a really awesome picture of Venom. And that is very cool. Now the picture is actually obscured by a lot of the text, as you can see. It's got a warning down here that says, Warning! Do not let the symbiote crawl all over you, for it will try to eat your brain. Has the toys arrow logo yet again and that is pretty awesome yeah the box is kind of plain but with a character like venom who's all black and white you know honestly what did you expect down the side of this side over here you've got a little bit more of the symbiote the venom whatever splashed onto the box and that is awesome as you can see the lid is a shoe box and it's actually held down with little stickers so that's very cool now i say we flip this box around and look at the front one more time because, like I said, I've yet to see a review of this figure. I've only seen, like, the uh, promotional shots and stuff of the figure. I've never seen any in hand. I have no clue what to expect quality-wise. I do know that Toys Era made that Colossus figure that I got recently, and that figure is absolutely awesome. So, man, if this one's even close to that, I will be happy. So, I say we waste no more time, and I say we open it! Now, with the box lid removed and looking inside, we find the usual foam. Or is that venom all flattened out and ready to strike? I don't know, but oh no, he struck! Oh man, it was just foam. But you know what? Looking underneath that foam, check this out. Now, his face is covered in plastic, but there's no mistaking that that is supposed to be Tom Hardy. That is awesome. You can see he comes with some extra hands there. A venom head, as you can see. He's got his hooded sweatshirt there looking very cool. And man, they got this outfit just right. I mean, this is exactly what he looked like in the movie. Got some more hands down here and then a venom arm. And that is so cool. And you can see that his sneakers are all wrapped in plastic. His arms are wrapped in plastic and so is his head. And you know what? Man, oh man, this just makes me regret not being able to get the quote-unquote luxury version because that version came with a huge venom statue so if anybody has an extra one of those send it my way but you know what hey this is pretty cool because I really wanted Tom Hardy the most. I mean, I think that is very cool indeed. And honestly, when I ordered this figure, I had yet to see the movie. And I've seen it recently, and I absolutely love it. And you know what? It just made me want that statue even more. But that statue looked very breakable to me. I don't know. It said that it was made out of resin, and I'm like, ah, oh, man, I bet you that'll break within the first, like, day of having it on the shelf. But you know what? I'm very happy with this one, and I cannot wait to see him stood up. So I say we remove him from the package, shall we? So, here's the figure fresh out of the package, still with the plastic on his head, his hands, and his shoes. Now, this figure did not come with a stand, so unfortunately, you don't get a stand with it, but most figures don't these days. But anyways, fresh out of the package, the first thing I noticed was, he's got a hole in his sweater right there. Holy crap, that freaked me out. And I was like, oh no, 
It's mine ripped, I mean, because that's definitely a hole. But then the closer I looked, you can see that it's actually just lightly weathered. And if you look over here on his sleeve, he's got another hole right there. And it's a little tattered there where you put your hands and stuff. So yeah, his sweater actually has a little bit of battle damage. So that's really cool. Now we can barely make out his face through this bag. But man, that looks like Tom Hardy already. That is awesome. So I say we waste no more time and remove all this plastic from the figure, shall we? So, with all the plastic removed, check out that head sculpt. That is awesome! That is definitely Tom Hardy. I mean, that looks just like he did in the movie. That is so cool. And you know what? The fact that this figure actually comes with two heads, you could technically make this your Mad Max head if you wanted to, because a lot of the Mad Max figures that came out for Fury Road really didn't look much like Tom Hardy. And I mean, that just looks amazing. Look, he's got like some strands of hair hanging down on his forehead. That is so cool. Now, like I said, you know, I had seen the uh, prototype photos back when I first ordered this figure, and I didn't know what to expect, you know, with the finished product and stuff. I haven't yet to see a review. I've yet to see any in-hand photos or anything like that. I did not know that he had little strands of hair hanging off of there. I did see those little like uh, strands of hair that are painted on his forehead, and I thought those were awesome looking. I didn't know about the battle damaged, you know, sweatshirt and stuff. That is so awesome. So yeah, I'm getting a lot of little happy surprises as I look at this figure, and man, this is definitely a great figure. Now, this is really cool. I mean, you get Tom Hardy's actual bracelets. I mean, because these are the same bracelets he wears in all of the movies he's been in. That is really cool indeed, man. And they come on the figure, so you don't have to put them on or anything like that. Uh, you can see a little bit more of the battle damage right there on his uh, sleeve, and that is very cool. Down here, you've got his jeans, which look like they've got little uh, acid wash, or they're just really old blue jeans and stuff, and that is very cool. Now, these shoes are amazing. Now, they're just plastic shoes. At first, I thought they were going to be leather or something from the way they felt, but no, they're just plastic shoes. But as you can see, they've got all the... Uh, you know, marketing or whatever, the marking on the shoes. It looks like a little predator, you know, uh, triangle, targeting triangle or something like that. And when I first saw him, I thought, oh, they just put that on there because, you know, his shoes didn't look like that in the movie. Nope, that's the way they look in the movie. And the coolest part is if you flip the shoes around and if you look at the back of his heels, he actually has the Reebok name written on there. And that is awesome. Now, the weird thing is, is if you look at his other shoe, it's actually written backwards. So, yeah, you, know, you got me on that. I guess they made one shoe and they just flipped the mold. I don't know how it works. But you know what? The fact that it just says Reebok on there makes me happy. That is awesome because, you know, you see shoes on the um, uh, Back to the Future figure and stuff and they couldn't get the Nike swooshes and stuff on there and that really sucks because it just, it looks wrong. It looks like something's missing. Yeah, look at how his hair's all spiky there on the front. You got the back of his shaved head or whatever right there. And then you've got the, the hood, which is huge. It was all folded up and stuff on his back. And that is very cool indeed. And yeah, this figure looks awesome. And I'm already happy with it. Now, taking a closer look at this figure, man, check that out. That head sculpt is amazing. There is no doubt that that is Tom Hardy. They did a great job and definitely captured his likeness. Uh, like I said, I can see a lot of people using this head sculpt for a Fury Road, you know, custom or whatever. Just throw that outfit on there. Uh, I don't think his beard was quite this thick in Fury Road or whatever on the sides. But you know what? That could be thinned out. Who cares? That looks awesome. Like I said, I can see a lot of people just throwing that outfit on this figure and having a better, you know, Tom Hardy likeness because that is definitely Tom Hardy. Now, I heard a lot of criticism uh, early on. People were saying his lips, his upper lip was too big and stuff. But you know what? Tom Hardy's lips look like that, man. Stop picking on him. But you know what? That is so cool indeed. And like I said, I absolutely love how they did his hair. I mean, they did not have to have his hair coming off of the sculpt like that. Man, that is so good. And it just everything about this head sculpt is amazing. And you know what's even equally amazing? The fact that this figure came with two heads and I haven't even looked at the second one yet. Man, that is so cool. And in fact, since this figure comes with two, you could use the, the masked Venom head on this figure and then you could totally use this head for your Fury Road figure. So that is very cool indeed. But let's check out this figure up close. There's that hole that I didn't know about, the battle damage and stuff. That is so cool. Like I said, this uh, sweatshirt is just lightly weathered. I mean, you can just barely see any weathering. 
and then he's got a lot of little tatters and stuff like that. He comes with fists on his hands. Now, one of the things that I was curious about is, is he wearing the other shirt underneath this? Because in the movie, he's wearing like a uh, gray shirt or a blue shirt or something like that. Look at that. They even like, they stitched his little uh, cord thing that he's got wrapped around his wrist. That is so cool, man. That is awesome. They could have just made that out of plastic, but nope. They went all the way, and that is so cool. You can see a little bit more battle damage there. Now, like I said, I was wondering would he have the uh, gray or the blue shirt on underneath. And another thing that I'm curious about is he very visibly has tattoos up his left forearm or whatever in the movie. Now, I doubt they put those on there, but man, if there's like a bird wing and, an, uh, and a wolf face and stuff, I'll be very happy. But honestly, you can just leave the sleeve down like that. And then down here, you've got his jeans, which look very cool indeed. And then there's his sneakers. And those are so awesome looking. They did a great job. I can see these shoes being used for a lot of different figures. That would be very, very cool indeed. But yeah, let's see if he's got his tattoos up his arm here. And that's a no. He definitely doesn't have them on there. But that's okay, because like I said, you can leave his sleeve down or put that Venom arm on. And then over here, let's see if he's got the, uh, the uh, t-shirt on underneath here. And you know what? He definitely does. Now, it's not tucked in, and it does not have the logo and stuff on it that it had on in the movie. But you know what? The shirt's there, and that's all that counts. Now, I'm not going to remove my figure's clothes, but it feels like that the head is put on a knockoff Wolverine muscle body from Hot Toys or whatever. It just feels the same. It's got the rubber neck, and it's got the rubber uh, overlay on the pecs or whatever, and that is cool. I think this body suits the uh, Tom Hardy physique very, very well, and man, oh man, I am very, very, very happy with this figure already. We haven't even talked about his accessories. Now, I didn't get the luxury version that came with the Venom accessory, but this one did come with two grabby hands, as you can see there. He's got some uh, gripping hands there. And he also came with a Venom arm. And check that out. It is very shiny and black. And those claws are very, very pointy. And that is awesome indeed. So yeah, you just swap out the forearm right there at the joint. And yep, you have a fully articulated Venom arm. But you know what else is cool? He also came with this another head so let's remove it from the plastic and check it out shall we and what a head it is this head is amazing looking and just look at that paint job how the symbiote is wrapped around eddie's face or whatever and then you've got the little like tendril little hair kind of pieces coming off of the tendrils going underneath his skin and stuff yeah, they did an amazing job on this head, and it is so incredible. And I love how the teeth are raised up from the head sculpt, the way his hair is raised up on the original head sculpt that I showed you on there. This just looks so good, and man, oh man. It, honestly, it's going to be really hard to pick which head I want to have displayed on the figure now, because I just wanted the Tom Hardy figure. I just thought that was really cool to get a figure of him. But yeah, Getting this as an extra piece, check that out. It looks so good. They got his teeth right, everything. That looks so good. Even his eyes have kind of like that pearlescent look to it. That is so cool. Or should I say eye? And then, uh, yeah, this looks so cool. I think if they would have made this piece a... Uh, exclusive piece that came with the uh, statue or whatever you know if you got the luxury edition i think i would have bit the bullet and bought it then because i would have wanted you know to have this half and half face this just looks so good but man oh man i cannot get over that paint job that they did the the subtle little lines coming out of the tendrils just look so good yeah that is awesome indeed now i don't know if i've got mine's head mounted down as far down as it should go so if it's a little high on the neck that's probably why but yeah i didn't try really hard because i don't know which head i'm gonna have displayed on my figure this is just so good man i don't know i just think this looks amazing and i don't know a lot of people that are going to be getting this figure but you know what they're missing out because this thing looks incredible i mean i highly recommend this thing look at those little spikies coming off of there that looks so good but yeah, I'd say they did an amazing job. And for an unlicensed figure, based on the actor, based on his outfit, based on the character from the movie and stuff, they nailed it, you know, all the way around. And you know what, Toys Era? This figure is incredible. So, there's my review of the Toys Era, the parasitic, one-six scale figure of Eddie Brock. 
and partial venom and that is so cool now if you get the luxury edition you get the full venom set and man i really wish i'd have gotten that i am super regretting not getting it at this point man i would just love to have that statue standing behind this figure it would look so incredible and you know what i'm very 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 happy with this purchase except for the fact that i didn't get that version so until next time tune in for more can you tell us this? Boom! Reviews! <laughs> <laughs> Who said that? No, I'm talking to you. Hey, this is Nolan North. You don't want to miss Foo Reviews.